Welcome to my boys Koi, hope you enjoyed the video, if you do could you please give me a like and subscribe. Hi guys, so if you've watched the Bald and Reefers channel, you will already know that those customer who was looking to buy these guys, um, and that was me. So I went down and I seen his um, quarantine facility, unbelievable. It really looks small on the video, but there's just ponds and then ponds and ponds and a doorway and more ponds. Brilliant. So, Never spawned before. The female's eggbound. She looks like she's ready to go. She's rubbing herself up against the plants. Um, and that's why she's knocked the two of them onto the ground. I had another one in a, in a basket plant. She was pushing herself up against it. It was plastic on the edge, so I took that out because I didn't want it to get coarse. Look at it. Um, so the male has been kept separate. And as you can see down there, I don't know if he's getting this the right way down, but he seems to be getting followed and bugged up against by the female, not the other way down. Um, the Hanisha Siri won't leave him alone. Um, so the poor male compared to the female, so he's tiny. <laughs> but, um, but as I say, like they seem to be harassing him. They're rubbing themselves up against him. Um, and as far as I was aware, it should have been the other way around, as I said, so I'm just hoping that potentially through the night we um, we get some spawn going. So I'll probably be up with the, with the baby at 5am to give him a bottle. And I'm, I'm out here, I feed the fish at 5am every morning anyway, because I'm already up with the baby. and I'm up for 20 minutes, so I come out and feed the fish, but I think um, I'm hoping that at 5am I come out and the top of the water is full of foam and bubbles and we have got some spawn on spawn loop. Um, yeah. You see the way that the male is rubbing up against the large female now. He's chasing it, he's rubbing up against the sides. Yeah. I'm going to that door over because that's just going to scoop them. It's a warm night, it's surprisingly warm tonight. Um, the new pump's on. Yeah, I got the Becho out. Nightmare to catch that fish. But I got the Becho out. Um, I got the mail in. I left them for a bit, let them chill. Then I put the spawning rope in. Yeah, so I'm just hoping we've got good things to come, but you can just see him. He, he's on air tail. The hands you see he's following him, he's following the achiever. Like the colours of them two fish, the spawn. But well, you know, what if all three of them, and if they end up being a um, the both female spawn, you never know. We could end up with a lovely mix. They've all got the orange, they've all got the white, they've all got the greys and the black. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's an exciting one. I feel like a kid at Christmas because as I said, I've never spawned fish before. Um, the closest I've come is my dad's your bunkins spawn. I think that's the closest I've come to ever, um, ever being near it or part of it. Sorry if my camera's a bit bad, I'm watching the fish myself rather than watching the the screen. But as far as I, I, I know, they're doing the right things. They're chasing each other around, nice and slow, not too aggressive. The male seems interested, the females also seem interested in the male. The um, achiever has been rubbing herself against the plants. 
she rubbed herself against the spawn brush not long after I put it in. So again, that all seems, um, as far as I'm aware, that all seems good. Look at it, isn't she just gorgeous? Like, just look at the size of it. Put that mail, the um, Benny Kiki Kuru. I hope I'm saying that right, I think I'm saying that right. Um, his colours are just so vibrant. He, um, he really is a stunning fish. But he was on the Hannah's tail a second ago, so. You never know. We could, um, we could have a nice, large, mixed spawn here. But the amount of eggs in that achiever, how she achiever, um, I dread to think, but in a positive way. But I hope I end up with tens and tens of thousands of frags. That would be the dream. You can just see the black mark on the side, the scarring. But again, my personal opinion, even if this was a show pond, then it wasn't just a small one. <clears throat> I think I'd be quite happy with it. With it. It wouldn't put me off. I don't think I'd... Um, as I say, I don't think I'd be put off because she had a black mark on her side. But well, big, thank big thanks to the, um, the Reefer Aquatics, to... Jack and Danny, I approached them and asked to buy a load of fry, and I mean a load, a load of fry, and they said pretty much, look, we couldn't do it to you, we'd charge you too much money on the quantity that you, you're asking for, we'd rather sell you some brute stock. They were planning on spawning the Achiever, definitely, um, as I say, so, you know, I appreciated them doing that, they could have went, okay, gives you money, and give me thousands of fry, but he didn't do that. He, he done me a really good deal on these three, which they believe are ready to spawn, which, as I say, appreciated. Um, really nice people. I, I've gone to them, and I hope I'm not doing the editing right now, because I've asked them a million questions, from filtration to fish to spawning to IBC tanks, and I've asked them everything. And not once have they not come back and give me a nice answer or different different great. Um I say let me see the um quarantine facilities today, which I don't think many people get to see. Appreciated. I'm gonna go down to the lake and have a look at their lake. Yeah, I'm going to the closed event when they have that. I'm hopefully gonna buy at least one of the Polish fish when they go to Poland next week. So yeah, it's a um, big little relationship we're starting to build and let's say I, I do appreciate the uh, the help they're giving me. It's it's just good to have someone who will have people who know what they're talking about and who are willing to give you that advice. Not everyone would be willing to do this because at the end of the day this is a business like every other business and people generally don't want to give all the tricks of the trade away. So I think what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to end the video here and leave them alone because me hovering over the top of them is probably not helping but then yeah so I'm going to leave them alone but thanks for watching guys only a short one hopefully the next one will be a full spawn
guys, so I'm just gonna let you watch it. Really. I don't want to talk through it all, but you're gonna see exactly what's happening. It's, it's amazing to watch. Morning guys, so um next morning I come down at two in the morning to check and then I come back at about half four when I fed the baby. Um it smells like stinky water, like like at the docks or something, which is obviously a good sign of a spawn. Um I pulled You see the the little is um definitely eggs all over it. So I'm gonna get this out now into a bucket. Um this has been going on for 12 hours, so I think anything um, that was happening is going to happen. The fish man just dead calm. So I'm taking to the dam and I'm half of frantic, so I believe this won't happen, so yeah. Hi guys, so um, we have got a lot of eggs. Um, compared to other people's spawns, I'm not sure if it's, if, if it's a lot, but every fish on the boat brush. I've got a couple of eggs spread out. Check this plank because I've seen them up against this. All the tops of the leaves have got eggs on them. Um, so yeah, I've put this one and brush into here. I'm not planting into here. Some of the pond water, some fresh water. I'm going to give it a little bit of a shake. I'm going to put an air stone in here. No pump, no filter. I'm going to cover it over and I'm going to leave them alone. Um, and I'll just check on them regularly and see if we're getting any signs of life. It is really difficult to show you on the camera. Isn't it? Made up, absolutely made up again. Big thank you to the board and Reva for Danny. Um, four days I've had the fish. My impatience probably should have waited till next week. My impatience wanted to get the mail in, get the spawn and push in within two hours. Do it, do it, do it all over each other. So, yeah, big great. Made up, really. Thanks for watching, guys. Update coming soon.